everyone, welcome to With Heart. Have you ever seen a piece of furniture and thought, oh, that would be so great if I only knew how to refinish it? Well, furniture with metal on it can be some of the most tricky to make look finished and refined. However, interior designer Angie Helm says, you can do it if you just have a few simple techniques, right? Exactly, it's very simple. We found this little school desk at a local thrift store. I thought it would be a great piece for us to show everyone how to make it over. Okay, so you've already prepped it, right? So yes. talk about what you've done to prep it. To get so it to, to prep it, basically what I've done is I've washed it really well, and then I've taken some vinegar here. That really helps prepare the metal to take the paint. We've got a sanding block here. I also sanded down the wood top of the desk to prepare it to take the wood stain. And I, I got an ebony finish because I wanted a darker finish to it. Okay, so then once it, the metal is prepped, the wood is prepped, what's the next step? So next what I've done is I've taken just some chalkboard paint that you can get at the craft store or your local hardware store. So I've sprayed the entire surface of the bottom of the metal of the desk. So now we are all prepped and we're ready to go to the next step. Okay, do you want to put some gloves on? I'd love to put some gloves on. <laughs> Help me with this part here. Okay. Really simple. The gloves are going on. Just a paper plate and I've got some metallic craft paint that I picked up at the craft store. Put a little bit on, a, on your uh, paper plate and we're just going to thin it out a little bit. So we've also got this sponge that we picked up just at a local craft store. So we're just going to take our sponge Put it right onto the plate okay. and then you just start applying right to the metal. Try and go in one direction and then you can kind of wipe off some of the excess here. Okay, so now we've let it dry and this is what our finished product looks like. Right, we've let this dry overnight and you can see that we've gotten a nice gunmetal industrial finish that we were looking for. Such a neat technique that you could use really on a lot of different pieces of furniture. Right. So thank you so much to Angie Helm for complete details on this project. Head over to withheart.com. Thanks for watching.